Hey guys, today we're making these delicious glazed fluffy donuts. I've been making donuts for years now and I finally nailed the most tender, melt in your mouth donut texture. And I'm so excited to show you how to achieve that. If you love donuts, you'll be blown away by how much better freshly made donuts taste. Okay, so I'm making the dough by hand today. Listen, if you have a stand mixer, use it. This is one of the few times I'm actually going to encourage you to use your stand mixer because this dough is quite sticky and I will be honest with you, it's a bit annoying to work with. However, if you don't have one, I will be sharing some tips with you as we go along to make your life easier easier. To my flour, I've added a good grating of nutmeg, which is going to give these donuts that distinct delicious donut flavor. I've also added the sugar and salt, and you want to give these ingredients a quick toss and set this mixture to the side. In this measuring cup, I have some warm milk. To it, we're going to add one egg, the melted butter, and yeast. Give this mixture a good mix, and if you're new to my channel, Make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. I post new videos every week. You're going to combine the wet ingredients with the dry. Now, if you're using your mixer, mix your dough on high for three minutes. If you're making the dough by hand, you can either mix these ingredients using a spatula or wooden spoon or even a handheld electric mixer. You'll see this dough is quite sticky and soft. This is how you want it to be. Do not be tempted to add extra flour. At the most, you can add an additional one or two tablespoons of flour but keep in mind this is the texture you want this dough to be now because it's so soft to make your life easier you're going to add half a tablespoon of oil onto your work surface this will prevent the dough from sticking to your board without having to add extra flour oil your hands as well and you're going to start kneading the dough this will take some time if you've seen my previous bread video i did touch on that i'll leave a link to that video in the description box but keep in mind this will take anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes the dough will be elastic and soft and inevitably and eventually it will become sticky at that point you can use the help of a bench scraper it's a great tool when making bread it's very inexpensive i think i got this one for a dollar so consider getting one especially if you love making bread like i said this dough will be soft and elastic usually all enriched doughs have this um flexible texture and after 10 minutes of kneading, you're going to transfer the dough into a lightly greased bowl. I like to give my dough somewhat of a shape. This isn't necessary though. And you're going to cover it well using some plastic wrap or a damp kitchen towel. And this needs to rise for about an hour and a half to two hours. It just needs to double in size. Okay, so fast forward an hour and a half later. At this point, you can flour your work area. We don't want the donuts to stick. The dough should have doubled in size and you'll see it also becomes easier to work with and it won't be as tacky. Flour the top of your dough as well. I like to press it down to pop any air bubbles and you're going to roll this out, I'd say to about half an inch thickness. Now with this dough, you'll be able to get around a dozen donuts because I have um, this small donut cutter i was able to get around 15 donuts you don't need a donut cutter though okay a large cookie cutter and a small one is perfectly fine to use or even a glass or a cup is fine improvise anything that's round you're going to place the donuts onto some parchment paper leaving some space between each donut and let these rise again for about 20 to 30 minutes the beauty of this dough is that you can re-roll it it's a wonderful soft dough so reshape it roll it out again and continue making your donuts okay so moving on to frying these babies I'm going to give you a few crucial tips now I like to cut the donuts you know the not the donuts the parchment paper around the donuts it's just easier to maneuver them into the oil without you know deflating them or losing their shape now I find that the best temperature for frying donuts is actually around 160 degrees Celsius or 320 
330 Fahrenheit. A lot of recipes will tell you 360, but from my experience, they just become dark and crispy. We're not making fried chicken here, okay? Cooking the donuts at a slightly lower temperature will assure you that beautiful, even browning and a super soft donut. If you have a thermometer, use it. If you don't, just make sure your donuts are um, bubbling gently. You may have to adjust your flame as you're cooking these, so keep that in mind. And you're going to cook these on both sides until Till they're beautifully golden. Set these onto a wire rack or some towels and we're going to make that delicious glaze. For the glaze you'll need some melted butter. To it we're going to add the milk and powdered sugar. You can add a splash of vanilla. I'm actually using vanilla powdered sugar so I won't be adding any today. Now depending on how you like your glaze, you know thick or thin, you're going to add more milk or more sugar. I personally prefer a thinner glaze. Drop your donuts one or two at a time into the glaze. Make sure you coat these entirely in the glaze. They're going to be so good, guys. I promise you. And you're going to place these onto a wire rack to drip, you know, the excess glaze. This glaze will set just like Krispy Kreme donuts. These will be better than any donut you will ever buy. I need to immediately show you how soft and tender these are. I guarantee you that when you make these, you won't be able to stop and just sweat. They're so good. As the glaze starts to set, it will become this crackly soft glaze. The entire donut will just melt in your mouth.